Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, just uh, here in Bangkok, and uh, thought I just saw this uh, display, which is unbelievable. It's so nice. I mean, like, it catches your eye when you walk by, right? Check this thing out, man. This is insane. This is what. This is why people eat so much junk food. It's the marketing, man. It is the marketing. They literally, they, they, the recently researchers uh, took vegetables and they renamed them to better names, so like, to like, you know, more more attractive names, right? And uh, so like, you know, they called like spicy, you know, exploding, fucking, you know, whatever, you know, some kind of spicy uh, noodles or vegetables or whatever. And then people were like, oh, they bought more of them, right? And so the, the naming and the marketing of things is so powerful. Right? So powerful it influences consumer behavior even though everyone thinks it doesn't but I mean you can see right now this is why this is why people are gaining weight all over the world it's like because the marketing is so good it's just so good I mean look at this thing I could sit in here for hours I mean really it's beautiful like some really smart marketing person came up with this the thing is is, is was it does this help humanity right <laughs> it doesn't help humanity at all right this is why people are gaining weight like crazy, right? You know, it's uh, it's really sad, you know, because I, I, in one sense, I respect it a lot, you know. Like in one sense, it's amazing. Like some super genius person came up with this display, right? You can see, like now it's like almost uh, ten o'clock at night, so like the mall is already closing, but you can see everybody taking selfies, and like it's just. It's just mesmerizing this thing, you know? Watching this uh, junk food uh, move around on the uh, things. You can see they got nice speakers, JBL speakers, high quality, you know? And uh, then you got, you got this uh, kind of a mellow display, but even inside this mellow display, you got moving things, right? So it key catches your eye, you know? It just, it's very eye-catching. The whole thing is very eye-catching, you know? And then you got famous, you know celebrities in here you got the wall to take the selfie at right you know you got this uh, the selfie wall so I'll get by the selfie wall here so I got the selfie wall here you know so it's just a I don't know man what do you guys think about that? what do you guys think about junk food marketing like how it influences behavior I don't know if you're are you the kind of person who thinks that it doesn't affect you junk food marketing or are you the type that, that uh, thinks that uh, this affects your 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 personal behavior everybody that I know whenever I ask them like what do you think about junk food like when you see junk food marketing does it affect your decisions right and everybody will tell me no no it doesn't affect my decisions right but is it true I mean this stuff here do they do they do they spend this on for nothing or is there a purpose you know the truth is this stuff this stuff influences you man then you get hungry and then you start to uh, you buy something, right? Look at this here. It looks like a freaking museum. I mean, it's got all the different flavors here. What is here? Salt and vinegar, fries and gravy, lemon, cheddar cheese, sour cream, prawn, crab, kebab flavor, kebab flavor, kebab flavor chips, spicy paprika, masala. Oh man, masala. Ooh, I love masala. But you know, this is what this what this is why people are gaining weight all over the world. This is why people are getting unhealthy. Obesity is like 30% of the world population now, you know? It's because of this kind of stuff. I, I believe it's because of this kind of stuff. It's because it's because the, the marketing is so good, you know? This, the marketing is so good. No, no uh, comments there? I'd love to hear what you guys think, you know? Like, wh why do you think people buy junk food? Why, why is everybody getting, you know, overweight? I think it's because of marketing. I think it's simply because of marketing. And it just, look at this, this is just one example. I'm sure there's like a million of these all over town, you know? Different brands doing something like this. They're always giving stuff away. And you know, the other thing they always do is they always have a good smell, right? Like a really good smell. So you could, you could, you could be like 100 meters away, but you smell these things, right? And then you, you're like, oh man, that smells so good. And then you, you walk over, like this whole mall here is just full of good smells, junk food smells. As I walk around this mall, you can't believe how many good smells there are. Especially downstairs, you go downstairs, just all restaurants, and uh, you know it's like tasty smells everywhere, and it just draws you in, man. It's it's like I literally, I, I hate junk food, but it's like really hard for me to walk 
buy all those things every day without buying anything, you know? Because it's like they get you in every sense. They get you with the uh, they they nail you with the the vision. You know, you see the junk food. They nail you with the logic, like they'll explain it. You know, they nail you with the cultural thing, like different flavors or you know whatever you're Egypt or whatever you want. You know, and then they nail you with the smell. The smell is a killer. Like the smell of bread and the smell of like sweet bread is just like you walk by. You know, it's like. You can't hardly stop it, and ice cream doesn't smell. So now they have the, they have the, um, they make the bread cones, like the big thick cones, and those have a great smell, right? Some genius thought of that. Right? So you, you couldn't smell ice cream before, so you would just walk by, right? You just see it, right? Ice cream, you know. But now, now, now you got smell. Smell kills you, and ice cream is one of my weaknesses. So either way, I'd love to hear what you guys think about junk food. Uh, I think it's marketing, and it's 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 just uh, there. W- they aren't wasting money market. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is no. You know, this cost a fortune, man. We are right now. We're right here on the second floor of EM Courtier Mall. I'm going to show you what it's like outside. Like, look at this here. This is serious money here. I mean, Chanel. You got all this stuff here. You got music. It's like a club out here, man. Seriously, it's like music and like there's a huge park up there on top. And then uh, there's another mall here. And then this mall here has got like, like a waterfall here, like a massive waterfall down there. You know, it's like, this is serious stuff here. Nice sound, always like, it sounds like a club. It's always happening, you know. And, uh, but it's full of junk food. It's like a huge trap, you know, because the thing is, is like Thai people eat healthy food, right? Like Thai food is super healthy. The problem is with these malls, now everybody goes to malls every day in Thailand, right? That's what they do. Everybody goes to malls, especially today because it's raining, right? So then you go to the mall, what, what's inside the mall? The mall, if you go outside, like on the food, on the, on the street, it's like the food is like healthy Thai food, right? Thai, Thai street food, right? But when you go to the mall, it's not. It's Western. It's Western junk food like crazy. And the Thai people can't control themselves. They walk in, it's like, smells so good, looks so good. You see people just like scarfing down 12 donuts and stuff. It's like really going to affect the, uh, the population health. I really believe that. And I'm, I'm, I'm very pro-business, so this kind of drives me. It bums me out to even say this, but it's true. It's like marketing of food is like a serious thing. It's like it's so powerful, and I think the average person just can't control themselves. I don't know what to do about it. I have no idea. For me, I'm very disciplined. I just, fuck, I just will not give in too many times. But uh, what, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with this stuff? Like if you have kids, how do you deal with the fact that they're like getting sucked in by these marketing campaigns? Like what do you, what can you do? Can you do anything as a normal person? All right, I'll sign off then. All right, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it.